I had uh, quite a few scripts I had to read because I, I never read when I when I work. And then uh, Martha De La Rentes, who's one of the co-producers I worked with on Hannibal, she said there is a script in there you should read. So I took it out of the pile and put it in the top, and I read it in one go, like, whoa, this is beautiful, this is a beautiful story. And then I called Joe, and I talked to him for an hour, and then I said, let's, let's shoot the film. And then six weeks later, we were in Iceland, and we started. But not only by talking about the story and what we wanted to achieve with it, uh, in terms of physicality, uh, the guy I play who crashed and is trying to survive uh, was not prepared, yeah. so I'm not prepared <laughs> either. Uh, it, it was extremely brutal, extremely tough. I lost so many kilos. There is a, like a mini minimum of, of, of wasting your energy. You, you don't move fast. You do only minimum of what you have to do because you don't get any vitamins, you don't get any protein, you don't get anything. Uh, get an arctic jar once in a while. Um, so yes, so his life was when we start seeing him, he's, he's been surviving for nine months. And then when the, the woman enters his, his world, then is the point where he starts being alive. But I have, a, I, have a, 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 I think, a natural stamina in the sense of like, it was very brutal and I actually had an injury just before we started shooting the film. And, uh, for some reason, it disappeared for six for six weeks, and then it came back. It was crazy. We, we were there for a while and doing preparations, finding places. And I, I came up there a little early. I wanted to to be there and, and see it together with them. Um, so that was uh, based in Reykjavik, and then we left Reykjavik, and then we were just in the visit. The shooting conditions are, are what you see. I mean, they are, it is vastly beautiful. There's nothing like it. And the blizzards are out of this world. I mean, one day we, I opened the car door, and the door broke off, and, if, and the door just disappeared wow. down the mountain. And uh, so, so we, were, we, were, we were suffering. I mean, the, 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 the weather and the conditions was our enemy. But at the same time, it was our biggest strength because this is the main character of the film. I think it was very, very difficult and tough. And it was interestingly quite more emotional than we imagined because the weaker you get, the, the more hungry you get, the thinner you get, the more your emotions are just right under the surface. So I, I think to our surprise that the character kind of broke down uh, a few times where we didn't anticipate it. And, and it, was, yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was a brutal shoot. Not real danger. I mean, I, I, that was a big lake. We, we couldn't, you know, the, the place where he fishes is a big lake, and it was a big lake, but we were not sure how thin the ice was, how thick it was. And I was alone a couple of miles away on that for, for some of the shots. And I could just hear the entire lake going <coughs> and it was like, this is, this is not good. And I could hear the fish underneath the ice yeah. splashing. And, and there, was, there was an enormous beauty to that, but it was, I realized that maybe I was not at the right spot now.